Security analysts spend around 80% of their time working on triage and other recurring activities such as phishing analysis, threat intelligence lookup, alert enrichment, etc. This can be automated by a tool called SOAR. It stands for Security Orchestration, Automation and Response. Now, it does that by integrating all the, all the security tools in the network and then running a predefined playbook to automate the security task. Some of the popular SOAR tools are Splunk Phantom. Then we also have Palo Alto XOR. We have uh, Swimlane, Google Chronicle SOAR as well. Now, very carefully, these are all commercial tools. What if I tell you there is a completely free SOAR tool called Shuffle? Shuffle SOAR offers a range of features. These features are very, very powerful. These features help so it's SOC analyst and in the entire security operations uh, to streamline security activities, including customize uh, you know, with the customizable playbooks for automating uh, incident response and integration with various security tools like Waza, or Microsoft Defender for seamless orchestration, uh, case management for tracking and documenting incidents. In this video, in this video, we will set up the shuffle sword from scratch on our Ubuntu server. Okay, so on your right, we have our GitHub repository. This is my GitHub repository. You can see Rajneesh. I'll share you the link of this repository um, in the comment section below, in the description below. And on your left, we have our Ubuntu server. Okay. So we are the, to, in, to set up the shuffle, we are going to use Docker Compose. And um, I have mentioned the I have created two files first for setting up the Docker and Docker Compose and second installing the shuffle. OK, so let's do that. But, but before we even do that, let's uh, do the APT update and uh, um, I mean APT update on to the Ubuntu server. All right, so it's done. Let's go to the Docker installation process. So first the first step it says to update the package and upgrade you can do it and then we have to download and install the docker uh, repository so let's copy this and paste it here perfect next we need to add a uh, docker gpg keys to the system so let's do that perfect uh, we have an error which says uh, it's not able to resolve the name. So don't worry, it's not a major alert. We just have to add the name in our host file. So hosts uh, 137001. Uh, name of my host. Host name is basically shuffle hyphen mumb. That's Mumbai, right? All right, so wonderful. Those who were knowing this already say Mumbai in the chat, okay? Uh, now, next, let's, we need to add the GPG. I think we just did that, so this is done. Next, we need to install the Docker repository. So you can do that here. We're running, we need to install the Docker repository with this command, so we just did that. And let's we let's do the next step where we have to install the Docker. Uh, to install the Docker, we will be executing will be executing this command. Perfect. All right. So once it is done, final step is to install Docker Compose. Okay. All right, so it's done. There's a slight challenge here. I, I think I'll, I'll fix that later on. But for now, just remember the command, the, it, this this is a mix of two commands, okay? Uh, because I haven't added this under a code. So I'll tell you something here. You can just copy this as the first command till here. Copy this, paste it here. So this will download your Docker Compose. Second command is to make it executable we need to make this file executable and then finally we can verify the docker compose okay 
Wonderful. The Docker Compose, Docker and Docker Compose both are installed. Let's move to the next part, which is to install Shuffle. Shuffle, sorry. So the first step is very simple. We'll have to install a GitHub. I mean, we'll have to download the GitHub repository of Shuffle. And we'll get into the Shuffle directory as well by command CD. Okay. Once it is done, then you can, uh, there's a small fix with the shuffle where you have to set permission to this shuffle database. So we'll create a shuffle database file and then we'll set the we'll set the ownership for this file. And there is we need to disable a swap option into the system. Don't worry, this is more related to the database option. So you don't have to worry worry about it. Okay. Once it is done because you already have the, compose, the Docker Compose file in it. You can verify that here. This is the Docker Compose file, the YAML script. So what all you have to do is just to turn up the machine, turn up the Docker uh, systems, right? So if you don't do hyphen D, uh, it, it, you won't be detached from the machine. You have to stop the Docker instances and come out. Uh, if you do that, uh, you know, you can keep that running in the backend, okay? So you can see that it's running currently. And in probably a few seconds, we can access our Docker quickly. Okay. All right, so the installation is done. Now, in order to access it, uh, uh, we need the IP address of Shuffle, which in our case, it's 103.189, this one, okay? So let's go to browser, HTTP, sorry, it's not HTTPS, it's HTTP, then enter the IP address and the Shuffle works on port 3001. Let's see if it works. Wow, wonderful. Now, Shuffle uh, don't give you the default credentials, so you have to create one yourself. But Shuffle is all set. You can just create your uh, you know, username and password, and it's all ready to use. Right, so we created the uh, our uh, username and password. We can access the Shuffle with our, uh, our credentials. So we'll type admin username and our password, right? Hit enter. Lovely. Can you see this? Let me minimize this. Yeah, perfect. Can you see that this is our Shuffle dashboard? Uh, it will ask you if you are a new to Shuffle or an experienced one. If you are new to Shuffle, it will give you some use cases. You can select few of them for different devices and you are good to go. You can select few of the use cases. You, you can decide whether you want to go for integrating any SIM solution. Maybe it's Microsoft Sentinel, Elasticsearch, uh, uh, it's QRadar, Waza, uh, Datadog, anything. I mean, in, in fact, you can go to app section and from there you can look for what all integrated apps you have currently. Currently, you have 57 apps that you can integrate at this moment. You can go to any of the app. Let's say I go to Snort version 3. We can see what all integration is available with us. We can even go to the use cases tab or creator page or admin account or setting accounts as well to get our API key. It's cool, right? You can also refer documentation if you want to understand how the configuration really looks like, what, where all the files are stored, and how to customize, how to create some custom workflow within the uh, Shuffle as well. You can even search anything on the search tab. Maybe it's about the workflow. Maybe it's, let's say I want to search for anything related to phishing. So this will give you the search result on both app section and even on the workflows as well. 
it's amazing right so if i select uh, let's see outlook get phishing attachment it will uh, it will take me to the uh, sample workflow as well you can refer to this workflow and you know create yourself right so thank you so much for watching we'll catch you in the next video